What's up, traders? Zach here from the Trading Network. I hope you guys are doing well. As you guys can probably see, I am on the mobile setup, so I will be doing a weekly market profile forecast as usual, but uh, doing it from my laptop. And maybe I'll edit up a photo and show you guys the mobile setup as well. I got one screen on the left here, one screen on the right, and then I have my main uh, screen, which is my laptop screen in the center here. So I have a three monitor setup, even when I am mobile. And I'm looking over here, not at the camera, because I'm used to my camera being on this side, but we are going to get it done. And I'm going to just briefly talk about some of these major levels that I'll be looking at and interested in uh, moving into tomorrow's regular trading hour session, especially. Obviously, today is indeed a half day, so the market is closed right now. It is 1.40 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, we're just going to talk about some levels from a session profile basis on ES and NQ, and then I will move into the weekly uh, market profile as well as some weekly candlestick or candle chart analysis. So without any further ado, the first uh, area of interest that I am going to be looking at is going to be a zone basically between the uh, low from the most recent overnight session and last Friday's point of control at 11.515. So my thought is if we can if we do push below this 510 level, 515 area, that we're very likely to get a test of this 11,486 level, which is the overnight point of control from January 12th into January 13th. And if that level does not hold, I will indeed be looking for a move back down to Friday's value area low at 11,438.50. Of course, we've got Friday's low at 11,408. But right now, we are still holding above value from Friday. So on the upside, this is a very important zone. Uh, it's going to be a zone between 11,574 and 11,579. Call it 11,575 to 580. Uh, we've got another area above us here which is the overnight point of control at 11, I'm sorry, 11,591. And then we've got Friday's high, 619, and the most recent overnight high from the 15th into the 16th at 638. So those are going to be some important levels. To the upside, if you guys want to quantify it and make it a little bit simpler, just call it this zone right here. Look for a reaction at 591 as well. And then this zone between 620 and 640, so a larger 20-point zone. And then on the downside, of course, we do have this 515 level, which is the naked POC. So on the downside, look for this a test of this zone here. Obviously, we've got some more market profile levels in the area. This 11,540 area, which is Thursday, last Thursday's value area high. That is the value area high from the session from January 12th, just to be exact. We've got another small zone here between 515 and 523. But overall, I think the most important level to the downside is going to be this zone here uh, between Friday's POC and the most recent overnight low at 510. So that's a zone between 515 and 510. And I will say, you know, the reason why I am holding or putting more weight on that area is because, of course, it is a naked point of control, right? So that's where a lot of liquidity is going to be sitting. And if we can't get buyers to step in and hold this 557-ish area, then I think it is very, very likely that's where we are headed. So with that said, uh, I'm going to load up the weekly profile and we will get into that very quickly here. Okay, so when it comes to the weekly, uh, what I will be looking at are a few similar levels that we were just discussing on the session profile. So 11,515, that is not only the POC from Friday, but that's the weekly POC from the entire week of last week. So 11,515, do not be surprised to see us get a test of that level. Even if it is going to be a bullish week, I think it's important to point out that we could move down there, touch that liquidity, tap that liquidity, absorb it, and then move back up. So what I will be looking at from a higher time frame perspective is this area to hold between 515 and 545. That's a zone created from last week's weekly profile between last week's POC and last week's value area high. If we can move and hold above that, I think it's very likely we move back up to the weekly high from last week at 11619. And uh, moving above that very likely gets us back into the 11.7k area where you can see that we have some stack market profile levels. We've got the point of control from the November 21st weekly profile. We've got the uh, weekly low from the let's see, what is this? The November 14th weekly profile. We have got the value area low from the November 28th weekly profile. So a lot of areas uh, levels stacking up from a long time ago. 
And I think that there's some resting liquidity there. It's going to be interesting to see how price reacts if and when we get up there. So uh, just to reiterate here, move and hold above 11.620, call it, likely gets us a move to 11.664. That is the weekly low from November 21st weekly profile. And then uh, acceptance back into that weekly profile likely gets us a move to 11.7K in this area between 11.7K and 11,725-ish. Now, I will point out that we have a weekly naked point of control from the week of December 12th all the way up here at 11,880. So if we do get acceptance and see continued upside pressure, uh, I would not be surprised to see a bit of a larger move up to this level. So that's where I will be looking. Of course, we do have some work to do to get above that level. Of course, moving above this 740 level, uh, move above 740 likely gets us a test of the POC from December 5th weekly profile. And then I think that we're not too far off. You know, if we can move and hold above this 7 50-ish level, very likely we get a test of that 11,880. So those are some bigger moves for you guys to keep an eye on. Now, if we do see some downside pressure, we've got the uh, monthly volume composite point of control right here around 11,466. So a move below this 515 level, if we get rejected, if we move down there and the bulls can't step in and hold that as support, I think there is a high likelihood that we get a move to this area. You can see value area low from the week of December 12th is also lining up with the monthly volume composite point of control right there call it 470 to make it simple and uh, if we break that i will be looking for a move to this weekly high which is the weekly high from december 19th so those should be some good areas to keep an eye on moving into this week again today uh, it was a short session not a ton of business done so i am uh, not really considering that any of these levels that have been established thus far are holding any weight at least as it stands right now all right, so now that we've discussed NQ, let's discuss ES from a session profile perspective. You can see here that we are hanging once again above value on ES as well, value area high from Friday. 4002 you can see that we have a POC there as well from Thursday that was Thursday's POC so this 4000 level is going to be pretty important to hold uh, you can see that there's confluence between the current daily low obviously this whole, take this with a grain of salt because very short profile not a lot of business done there um, but we also have 4008 as an overnight high from the 12th into the 13th overnight session so that's an important area as well uh, if we can tomorrow or this evening upon open generally speaking the you know in the opening the real opening of this week is going to be five or 6 p.m. Eastern time. And, um, you know, I'm really not expecting much until tomorrow morning at 9.30 a.m. Eastern when New York session opens. So a uh, line in the sand for me to the upside at the very least is going to be uh, this overnight POC from the 15th into the 16th. Now, the real line in the sand in my eyes is between uh, 4,018 and 4,028. So this you know, this 10 point zone, if you want to make it a little bit more precise, you could call it Friday's high and, you know, maybe even draw a little zone between Friday's high and uh, the most recent overnight high at 4028. So move and hold above that obviously is very likely to get us some more upside pressure into some weekly profile levels that we'll look at very shortly here. Uh, but if we move up to Friday's high, or we can't even test Friday's high, and we get rejected below that, uh, then we have a naked POC down here. Again, we did touch this 3996 level in the overnight session, or got very, very close within two ticks of it technically here on my chart. But this naked POC is not closed until we touch it in a regular trading hour session. So just like that POC that I was pointing out on NQ at 11515, I would say do not be surprised if we get a quick move down to 3996, probe that area, see if it holds a support. You can see that's also that overnight POC 3994. So you could draw a little zone between those levels as well. Break of that zone to the downside very likely gets us a test of this zone right here between 3986 and 3988. And those are really the major areas that I would be looking at to the downside. If we break 86 to the downside, look for a move to Friday's low 3965 ish, and then down to 3961, which is the overnight low from the 12th into 13th session. Now you can see that we also have some stacking market profile levels in this area here, 39.57, that's last Thursday's low, and then 39.52 to 39.54, that is a zone created between the value area low of last Wednesday and the overnight low from uh, last Wednesday into last Thursday. So those are some downside levels to keep an eye on on the most immediate basis. And let's go over to the ES weekly market profile to discuss some higher time frame levels now. Alrighty, so let's dive into some ES analysis on a weekly basis as well. So just like NQ, we are hanging out at the top of last week's range. Uh, we are actually below value high from the uh, ES perspective. So 
that's one little bit of difference that you can note between ES and NQ is that NQ is technically above value from last week. ES is just below it. So I would, you know, not a huge deal, but I think it's worth noting. So on that note, um, I will say that we also have a naked POC on the upside that's much closer than NQ. So you can see we're only about 30 points away from this upside naked POC, and that is from the December 12th uh, weekly session as well. So if we can get even a little bit of upside pressure, I think it's very likely that we move up through last week's high at 4,024.25 and tap this naked POC at 4,040. If we cannot get acceptance above last week's high at 4024, uh, very, very likely that we move down and touch last week's naked POC at 3,996 and watch reaction there. I think it, one, once again, it could be a likely case that we move down, tap this naked POC around 3,996 and then move back up to tap this upside naked POC, or we could see something differently where, you know, we open up, tap this, and then move down to tap this. But it's important to keep in mind that we are between two areas of dense liquidity. So where there's a naked POC, that means that is an area right here, 3996. That's where the most buying pressure or the most uh, transactions took place the entire week last week, right? So there's going to be a lot of resting orders there. That's going to be an important area for price to move to to absorb liquidity before you know our next move happens. And you could consider the same situation with this upside naked POC. And I want to be clear, you know, when I say buying, it's buying and selling its trading activity. So that's how these naked POCs are created. It is an area where the most trading activity took place and we have never revisited that area since that POC was established. So there's going to be a lot of orders there and they typically act as magnets for price. So that's why I'm so adamant in talking about those areas when they are present, especially when they're close. And in this case, when we have two naked weekly POCs that are so close to each other. Now we also have the monthly volume composite POC here on ES at 39.88. So break below this 39.96 level, I would uh, say it's very, very high probability that we move and we tap that area. You can see that's lining up with another POC from the week of November 21st. So look for a move from 39.96 down to this 39.85-ish zone if we cannot hold that 4,000-ish area as support. You can see that we also have these stacking value area levels here from uh, the December 5th weekly profile and the November 28th weekly profile. So those are uh, some important levels to keep an eye on as well. And if we go back two weeks, you can see 4,005 is another weekly point of control. And that one is from November 15th. So some older levels, and they are still absolutely valid, especially if we haven't been in this area in quite some time. And this is the first time we're touching it in even a couple of months. So just to recap here, uh, from an ES weekly profile perspective, uh, I will be looking at reaction first and foremost to 39.96 to the downside. Uh, I want to see reaction or watch what happens around uh, 40.25. That is last week's high. From a regular trading hours session perspective, if we can move and hold above 40.24, very, very likely we get a tap of 40.40, and then we're going to have to see how price reacts there. If we move above 40.40, I'd be looking for a move through these uh, previous weekly highs. This is the high from December 5th weekly profile, 40.64, and a move above that likely gets us a move to 40.78, 40.95, and then we've got another naked POC up here at 41.05. And of course, further downside pressure, I think very likely gets us a test of 54 if we can't hold 96 or 75. And then if we can't hold 54, last week's value low, 39.36. And then we've got uh, not last week's high, but the week from the week of January 3rd, uh, 39.28.75. That's the high from that weekly profile. And I would expect a reaction there. Break below that likely gets us to last week's low at 39.06. So like I always like to say, one level at a time, we're going to have trade opportunity very likely at all of these areas if we can be patient and wait for our edge to present itself. And these are just important areas to watch. We don't want to get you know too strong biased on either side, but it's important to stay flexible and just keep an eye on these levels. Levels, and most importantly, keep an eye out for your technical checkboxes to present themselves at these levels. So with that said, I am going to wrap things up here. Thank you guys for bearing with me uh, with the mobile setup. Hopefully the quality is still okay. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this content as always. And if you guys want to learn more about what we do at The Trading Network, please check out our website, thetradingnetwork.io, where you can purchase our most popular offering, the Pro Trader Bundle, which includes access to our 
Discord for life. Yes, that is lifetime Discord access. Access to the Fundamentals of Futures Trading course, as well as the Trading Network proprietary indicator package. You can always purchase those products standalone on our website, as well as one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me. And if you have any questions about anything that I mentioned in this video, feel free to drop them down below. If you have any questions about the products that we offer, you're welcome to email us at info at the trading network.io, or you can shoot us a message on Instagram as well, if that is easier. Thank you guys one more time. I greatly appreciate your time, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.